Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another illegally cited Twitch stream, E3 2021 edition. And uh, I am back for probably what will be the last of the uh, E3 2021 Twitch streams, because uh, definitely looking forward to this last one. We are going to be taking a look at the Nintendo Direct here in about 10-15 minutes. And I'm very curious to see what they're going to announce for the Switch. I know this month we have Game Builder Garage. I've already seen some video content of people creating crazy stuff with that. And I am I know Mario Golf is coming out sometime later this month. Uh, probably next week, I think, if I remember correctly. So we know about those. Um, I'm hoping to get some surprises today. So very curious to see what... Uh, we are going to get. They said it's going to be about a 40-minute presentation. And, I don't know, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews of E3 this year. And, all things considered, I think this year was pretty darn good. And I think the people who are disappointed haven't been paying attention to a lot of the indie stuff that's out there. You know, I mean, yeah, people want that new whiz-bang game to show off your new console. I get that. And I think even that was a good thing. Um, Microsoft and their drought of games, uh, I think that's going to stop. Um, they showed a lot of stuff that was very appealing, I think. Um, Forza looks just ridiculous. Um, they have Halo Infinite. Um, they've got... Uh, Age of Empires, they've got Diablo, they've got, um, like I said, 30 games. And, like I said, the, the craziest thing is, I saw somebody on Twitter the other day, they're like, man, we're getting to the age, if you own a PC or Microsoft stuff, the days of having to even buy a video game ever again seem kind of coming, I don't, I don't want to say coming to an end, but it's really strange because, yeah, I mean, they must be doing one hell of a deal with these publishers or developers because so many games coming to Game Pass and all the player has to do is uh, subscribe for 10 to $15 a month, depending on what tier you want to get. Sounds like a hell of a deal to me. And especially, you know, again, look at this from an accessibility perspective. How many times do people complain, well, I can't afford that, and... You know, give me free codes and blah, 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 you know. Um, pay the 15 bucks, and, you know, as games are starting to become more accessible and people are finding ways to play them, whether it's with OCR or Copilot or <clears throat> whatever it happens to be, um, you know, it's a pretty risk-free thing. You pay your monthly fee and try all these different games, old and new, that are out there, and, you know, you'll find something that you like, or if you don't, you can't play it. Just uninstall it, and you're not out the 50, 60, 70 bucks. So, yeah, Microsoft did a hell of a job this year, I think. Sony, they, you know, they had a couple things at other, you know, at other people's shows. I'm trying to think if there's anything major that they had for an exclusive that really was shown. I mean, we did get to see Horizon a couple weeks ago, so we know there's that. Uh, we know God of War is coming. We know... There's another um, Gran Turismo, although, I don't know, I mean, I know people are really into Gran Turismo, but I just think that, for some reason, I've just never clicked with them as much. Like, I've tried a couple of them, they are extremely sim, and I, I the thing I like about Forza is, yes, you can go extremely simulation if you want to, but for people who just want to maybe drive around and enjoy the races and tr enjoy the open world of the horizon games and you know just enjoy these awesome cars and environments and car culture or whatever forza does a great job of that and i'm you know gran turismo kind of just seems a little bit more clinical like here's a track here's uh some cars, we'll go into obs obscene detail, and, you know, you you basically really, really have to learn how to play it, otherwise you're gonna just do horribly. 
Um, I haven't played any of the recent ones, so I don't know if they've made those a little bit more beginner friendly or I don't want to, I don't want to say arcade friendly because it's nowhere near that, but um, just more approachable. So I know Sony's got some stuff, and they're going to have something probably later this summer, I would imagine. Um, but there's been lots of indie stuff, you know. I've I can't, I've probably put a dozen or two dozen games on my Steam wish list, and some I already had on my wish list. So, you know, the, uh, unfortunately, I wish uh, New Blood would have gotten more time during the... They just got a tiny little snippet during the PC Gamer show, and I found a couple games... Fallen Aces looks badass. <clears throat> that looks cool. Um, they're doing between New Blood and um, oh god, what's the other one that's doing the retro? Um, another big one. There's there's two companies that are just doing awesome work. I'm sorry, I can't. I just went stupid. I can't remember the other one. But they're you know they're bringing back old shooters. They're making new shooters in this in that style. Um, doing amazing stuff. And I watched that five-minute extended cut of Gloomwood, and that looks cool, man. Check out that uh, early access or that demo video that I did for Gloomwood a while back. And uh, But yeah, that extra extended gameplay of that, uh, I, I really, I'm thinking that's probably going to come out this year. And I am very much looking forward to it, because it's stealthy, but you have... A sword, you've got some guns, you got this cool like briefcase thing where you got your inventory and it's like got this double sided it's just gadgets, it's just cool. Um the setting is really unique, so you're really looking forward to Gloomwood. Um there's another one, God, what was it? Um I was playing it literally like last weekend or two. They had an updated demo or something. Um Graven, that one, I really like what I'm playing of that. That's another kind of first-person shooter, melee, RPG thingy. You got all kinds of cool stuff going there. I, I really like what I've played of that so far. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you've got your big budget. You've got your anything in between. I finally got around to playing Ratchet & Clank, uh, the new game yesterday. So that is cool. Um, there are definitely some visual issues that I have with it. I'm going to try to do a video of it at some point here, but, um, yeah, uh, let's just full screen this cause we are moments away. We are just a few minutes away. We're just going to wait for this to come up and, uh, see what Nintendo has to offer. But, uh, no ratchet and clank. If you are low vision, I would say, Definitely, you need. You're probably going to need the accessibility features. Um, they have a really cool shortcut thing where you can assign like a, a direction on the D-pad. By default, it's all switching to different preset weapons. But uh, I assigned the up uh, up on the D-pad to turn to toggle high contrast on and off, and that has been extremely helpful. I think as far as navigation and pathfinding. Um, I would have a heck of a lot more trouble in many different ways had that feature not been there. I would be really struggling even more with it. The combat I really enjoy. That's fun. Um, the story is great so far. I like the characters. They're funny. Um, they're cool. The, like I said, combat is great. But uh, the traversal and fight, um, the traversal, the platforming, the uh what would you call them speedles that the, i don't know i'm not i'm not sold on the speedles thing because it's not exactly clear there's the, there's one place where i was like i'm not exactly sure where i'm supposed to go here is a little bit more open but uh i've played through both uh one of ratchets and one of um rivets missions and it you know, said it's a hell of a looking game i'll tell you that Sound and visuals, get the 3D headset on, um, and, you know, it's it's a dang good looking game. So I gotta get around to keep playing that. Uh, so, there's so many games, either out or coming out, it's just, I my, my head spins trying to think of it. So, 
While we're waiting here, what do we think Nintendo is going to announce? Um, hopefully some news on Breath of the Wild. Um, there's like Metroid Prime 4, we don't know what's happening with that. Bayonetta 3, we haven't heard anything on that f since, pff, what, two, three, four years ago? Um, so will we find anything out about that? I don't know. I hope they do, I, you know, I know they're already doing the Zelda Skyward Sword, but I really, really do want a Zelda anniversary because it is Zelda's 30th, and I want a, like, N64 GameCube era Zelda collection, you know, um, Ocarina of Time, um, Wind Waker, could throw a Twilight Princess in there, why the hell not, um, I don't know, I doubt we're going to see anything from F-Zero, that's just, they don't seem to want to do anything with that, I would love to see Game Boy added to the Switch Online stuff, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, because if they did, if Konami's not going to do it, maybe we'll get some of the Castlevanias. Um, you know, maybe we'll get some... Because there's a lot of great stuff on Game Boy, and especially Game Boy Advance. I I played the hell out of the Game Boy Advance, especially after I got my SP and the Game Boy Player. Yeah, being able to play a lot of that stuff on the Switch would be great. N64 on the Switch... GameCube? I, I mean, I don't see why I couldn't do that. I mean, maybe we could get an Eternal Darkness playable on a modern system. Eternal Darkness is awesome. I know it would probably feel a little archaic now, but back then, when it came out, I was enthralled, man. It was a really neat game. Um, I wonder if we're going to get some sort of a another, like, Tetris 99, another Battle Royale. Are we going to get, like, another Maker game? I know we just got Game Builder Garage, but are we going to get maybe, like, a Zelda Maker, maybe? Or, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm trying not to go too crazy because, you know, I know some people are just getting so hyped up and everything. I'm like, eh, this is Nintendo. Sometimes they knock it out of the park, and sometimes it's just, eh, you know, it is what it is. And you get a few cool things, but it's just... I don't know. I'm sure they'll probably talk about... I, I hope they don't devote much time to things like Mario Golf, since that's coming out right soon. Um, Smash Brothers, I'm sure they'll announce another character. I uh, hope they don't spend too much time on that. Um, they'll probably talk about Monster Hunter Worlds or something. Um... I'm not super into that. I mean, I could be, I think, but, you know, again, the accessibility with some of the, all the menus and all that nonsense. Um, I don't know. I've, I've, temp I've been tempted to try Monster, Monster Hunter Worlds on the PC. Everyone seems to love that, but I have too many other things to play. <laughs> 2D Metroid would be great. A, a 2D... Metroid on the Switch would be A-OK -okay with me. Um, people are thinking something like that. Well, we got about one minute to go. Says my watch, anyway. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. I'm going to reload the page. I just want to make sure. Okay, well, we'll just full screen again. All right. What else might we encounter? What else would I like to see? I love Nintendo when they just makes up make up some cool zany surprise. I know last year they said there was like another Splatoon coming. Um, which is fine. I rather, I actually rather enjoyed the um, oh the the default mode. What, what what was it called? Where you're basically trying to cover the most ground um, with the paint or the ink. 
I actually kind of enjoyed that. Um, I, I, I like that because you didn't have to be good at shooting people. You could just be like, oh, I'm going to try to cover as much ground as I can uh, for my team. And, you know, it's bright and colorful and fun and fast. But, um, you know, I mean, I like being just something completely out of left field. I wonder if there'll be like, oh, any announcements where it's like, oh, it's out today. Yay. Okay, it is 11 o'clock. We should be... Any moment now. And I'm not going to stay around for the treehouse. I will watch it probably, but I'm not going to stream it because it's going to be like three hours or something like that. I just really want to cover the direct because that's the, you know, they, they do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Reading pending to mature. Make sure we got our headphone audio going here. All right. Let's see what we get. Come on. Make something awesome. Come up with something really cool. E3 2021. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. All right. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide as well. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year. Holy and many crap. many people around the world are playing games on it. Nintendo Switch That's is insane. being enjoyed by a wide range of players spanning yeah, all 2017. and all levels of gaming experience. Jesus. Thank you all very much. Time flies, man. Are we going to get a new Switch? We offer a wide variety of games on the system. Not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Oh, I would hope so. Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. Okay. We hope you enjoy it. Sounds okay. like a plan. To begin, please take a look at this video. All right, I love. I just. I love that sound. <laughs> the little snap and the little. I, there's just something catchy about that. I love it. All right, cloudy skies. What is this gonna be? Lava. What is this? Oh, is this a Tekken? I don't. I, I can't. I haven't kept up on my Tekken lore, like who the characters are. Definitely a fighting game, though. It looks fast. Yeah, with the lava, it's got to be Tekken. Because isn't there a thing where people get thrown into volcanoes and shit in that game? The the, the lore in that game is just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Ah, yep, chuck him off the lay. Okay, yeah, this is definitely, definitely got to be tech. But what the hell? <laughs> okay. Oh, is this a smash announcement? Or is this gonna no they're showing too much actual like gameplay. Lots of glowy effects. Looks pretty rad though. Good god, man. Oh god damn it, it is. Yes, it is Smash. Man! Okay. Ah, <laughs> it just keeps throwing stuff in. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course it's Smash. I'm like, oh man. Okay, well we got our Smash announcement out of the way. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game. Kazuya Mishima from the fighting game series Tekken will join the battle. I should have known when they just said his name right away and they just focused on him. I should have known, but... We've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Take a look. 
Okay, more smash. I really should play more Tekken. Like, I have Tekken 7 on the PC. Um, I've played it, and I'm not really great at it, but it was kind of fun. Fun series. They're spending a lot of time on this. Now, people are really, really into Smash, so... I get it, I guess. I'm just, like I said, I probably would be more into Smash if it was easier to see, but with everything zooming out so far, and just all the chaos happening at, at once, I just don't... This feels like Tekken. No, it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future presentation. We still have to record it first, actually. Uh, okay. The air date is shown below. Please stay tuned. 628. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. New fighter Kazuya will join the fight in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. All right, let's continue. Yes, enough of Smash. Let's... Of Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, yes, now, now, we're, now we're talking. Your choices matter in these emotional, supernatural tales. Okay. Let's see if I recognize any of these. Again, kind of a anime art style. Again, kind of anime esque characters. Got three people. Oh, life is strange. Okay. No, yeah, okay. It kind of, yeah, just the way they looked, it just looked weird. I didn't recognize them at first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I could see that working on, uh, on Switch. I mean, I don't see why not. Okay, yeah, True Colors. And then I'm sure they'll have the... Life is Strange True Colors launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. Okay. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo right. Switch later this year. Yep. Okay. There's something for everyone on the Nintendo Switch system. You are Star Lord, leading a legendary band oh, this of is, heroes for Oh, this is this coming to the Switch too. Adventure game. Jump on a wild ride across the cosmos. This looks great. Star Lord's daring combat style and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable If this runs on the Nintendo Switch, it, it should have no problem running on my current this, PC. Probably. So, Marvel's Guardians that's what of the I would Galaxy think. Blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. I don't know why, but I'm really Learns interested in that everywhere. game. In this real-time arena-based shooter, you'll squish your invertebrate opponents in 32-player cross-platform combat. This looks chaotic. Challenges, battle modes, and seasonal events to warm your way up the ranks. Plus, the patchwork bear outfit exclusive to the huh? Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A new map, Spaceport Showdown, launches with Worms Rumble, wriggling onto Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Get a 25% hmm. discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, okay. Looks a little chaotic. The fantastical realm of Orcanon awaits. As you explore well, this fully hand-painted world. You'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks and captivating turn-based combat. Yeah, okay, not so much my thing, Astria but... Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September 30th. Okay. Kind of a 2D side-scrolling RPG, so it's one of those, okay. Return to the funny, charming, and quirky world of Two Point County. In the oh, Olsen campus. In the management sim Two Point Campus. Yep. You'll build and run your very own university the way you want. Okay, so we're getting a lot of stuff that's already been announced elsewhere. They're just confirming that it's coming to the Switch, which is good, which is good, especially if people want these in a portable form. That's fine. 
a beloved series rolls into its 20th anniversary this year. Uh, monkey ball, it's got to be, right? If the, the, the word rolls. Oh, yep. Yep, there's the monkey. You know, I wish this song would get banned from being ever used again in promotional material. Or just, I'm so tired of that song. I always just call it the 2001 song because that's where I think I started hearing it way back when in the day. Uh, yeah, Monkey Ball is cool, but it's so hard. I remember playing the original on the GameCube when it launched. It was like, Sega is making games on a Nintendo system, and the first one they come out with is a crazy Monkey Ball? Ooh, okay, it was some mini games. You got, what was it, Monkey Pool, Monkey Soccer or something? Everything is so fast. Go bananas when Super okay. Monkey Ball Banana Mania rolls onto Nintendo October Switch. 5th. October 5th. Sure. All right. Yeah, why not? Blast from parties past, and you're invited. Mm. Ready for another round of Mario, Mario Party, Party. Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Oh, okay. On five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's birthday cake and Space Land. Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed hmm. to keep you on your yeah. toes. And when we say zany, we mean it. Jump. Connect blocks. Rotate your stick and kill and the palm of your lips. hand. <laughs> I remember and that back in the day. Over the top mini -games. Controversial, like. All of which support button controls. With 100 okay. mini games from the Mario Party series catalog, you'll have a blast in this all-star fun fest. Here's a little party favor. All game modes work with online play. Okay. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid-game. Grab I never got into the Mario the Party. I like I like it in theory, are but also available to communicate with others. It's time to party in Mario Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system right. October 29th. Okay, another Mario Party. Today on Nintendo eShop. Okay, pre-order, yeah. What did you think? Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4, mm -hmm. which we previously announced. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry. Yes. In the franchise. Yes, yes, yes. Please take a look. Okay. I'm definitely interested. Oh, is this going to be our 2D Metroid? Fuck yes. I hope it's coming this year. That would rule. Just don't let Team Ninja do it again. God, that was bad. I mean, it was more the story that was awful, but... I want to see gameplay. I'm, I'm kind of worried because we're not seeing gameplay. It's all animation. Cool art style, though. Oh, yeah, 2. Here we go. 2D. Here we go. Oh, God. What's... Something's chasing her. Metroid Dread. <laughs> okay, wall jumping. Oh, this looks all right. Metro okay, we're taking some stuff from Samus Returns. I see the kind of melee <coughs> reflect back move. <coughs> Backgrounds are almost so detailed, though, it's kind of hard to... There's a lot of things blending together. And unfortunately, Nintendo doesn't do much with accessibility, so I doubt there's going to be the ability to dim the backgrounds a little bit. But this does look cool. Okay, now they're showing a lot of gameplay. So this is... What the hell? There's 3D parts? Is this going to come this year? Metroid Dread. When... When? 
10, 8, 20. Oh, yeah. October 8th. Bring it. That was the trailer Sold. for the first new 2D Metroid game Sold. in roughly 19 years. The brand new Metroid Dread game. Yes. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. Yeah, like behind the back to be released on October stuff. 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. Nope. On that same day, we'll also be releasing Amiibo figures for Samus and the Emmy, Aww. the robot scene in the video. Man, you're going to make me want to get in another Nintendo Amiibo. Switch headlines. Huh. Okay. These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. Yes, Metroid. Get ready to get down Ugh. in the latest Just Dance game. Don't care. Sorry. I just don't care. But I'm just going to mull over that Metroid. They're, they're going to show some of that in the treehouse. They have to today. And I'm so going to watch every minute of that because 2D Metroid, baby. Hit the dance floor in Just Dance 2022, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Excellentness. Ooh. The arcade smash hit Cruisin' Blast is speeding onto Nintendo Switch. Oh, is this a new? Blast your way <laughs> through nearly 30 over-the-top tracks. It's like Neon. What the hell? We got dragons? The four players can race together, so pick your favorite vehicle and hit the road. This looks like dumb fun. Cruisin' Blast launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay. And we get that Hot Wheels game looks really good, too, that's coming out in September. Okay, another Dragon Ball Z game. Relive the story of Goku and other Z fighters through four sagas in this action RPG. Huh. Say it. Protect the Earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza, take a stand against the evil Emperor. Cell. Battle the androids in a fight. They've really gotten the art style down for these, though. I mean, these games just look like the anime. I mean, they're that fighter, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Damn, man, that that was pretty impressive when that came out. Hey, why not help out the locals? Or collect ingredients for delicious meals. You can always train to acquire new skills too. I tried watching Dragon Ball Z back in the day, but the boss battle slow moving. Oh my God! One and two is also included. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus a new Power Awakens set punches its way onto huh. Nintendo Switch September 24th. All right, sure. Sure. Grab a golf club and get ready to tee off. Yep. I already pre-ordered this the one because I know this Super is going to be a great one to play and play while I listen to books and stuff. I enjoy Mario Golf. Standard Golf. Take your time to read the wind and terrain on the greens. Nice shot. I think I, I know I own the N64 one. I think I had the GameCube one, too. Aim for under par. Nice bird. Yep, got to have that Speed announcer. Smack that looks crazy. Bowser. Outpace your rivals with special dashes and special shots. This looks great. I'm into it. Battle golf. You get out over nine flag marked holes in an obstacle filled arena. Oh, neat. Capture I don't think they've announced that before. Golf adventure. Huh. Go from rookie to pro with your me character. The golfing challenges that await may surprise you. Yeah, I should talk and about like boss news. battles and stuff. Free updates are planned for future release, including okay. additional courses and playable characters. Nice. The fairway's almost open. So set your tea time and get ready to ace those shots. June something, like 20. Super Rush, swinging onto the Nintendo Switch system. June 25th. June 25th. Next Friday. Are available now on Nintendo eShop. Cool. All right. Ready for the ride of a lifetime? Oh, I want a new punch out. That's what I want. Welcome to the vast and vibrant world of Monster Hunter. Yeah, I knew they would cover this. God, I want a new punch out now that I think of it. As a rider in this RPG adventure. Hell, bring the Wii one over. I don't care. Your monsty, a monster companion. Gather materials such as honey and ore, then use them to craft items for your journey. <sighs> this one looks kind of neat, I have to admit. But beware of the many monsters roaming about. 
Some are docile. But I know people said this one was a little bit more approachable and some of the movement was a bit faster. With your monster and use weapons and skills to overwhelm enemy monsters I think this in turn-based battles. Win, oh wait, turn-based? What? And rewarded with their materials, which can be forged into new weapons and I know, I'm thinking of that, that's the, the one that looks like this that came out a couple a months ago. You might be able to hatch a new monster. Yeah, turn-based, me. Monsties can also hatch from rare eggs. Need more traveling buddies? I forget Join what the one was called that came out a couple months ago battles. that was that looked like this. Buckle up, Ryder. It's going to be a real monster of an adventure. What? Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, Soars hmm. onto Nintendo Switch July Oh, 9th. the Stories one, okay. July 9th. Free demo hmm. on June 25th and carry over your save data to the full game. That's nice to let you carry the save data. I wish more demos would do that. Here's a new game from the head of a certain company. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? Yes! Okay. What do you mean? Who am I? WarioWare. Me. Wow. Hell yes. And it's a finally ready. A brand new game from my company. Oh. Check it out. You can Hell yeah. Me. Time to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. What rats? Oh, WarioWare. They came back. And they have wonderful new talents. Throw that stick thing. Mm, not the bad. Use the spinny and <laughs> watch him call it. Ha! Nailed it. Same micro game, different abilities. Wah! I almost forgot some big news. Two people can play together at Ooh. the same time. Oh God. So play nice. Oh God. Or else. <laughs> Some of these mini games in two players would be chaos. Yes, you, the one watching this, better get ready for some micro game mayhem. All right. September 10. Launches exclusively on the Nintendo Nice. September 10. Sold. Begin today on Nintendo. All right, doing it. Yep, Metroid. Oh man. Metroid and WarioWare. The trailer for WarioWare. Get it together. In the latest installment nice. of this series, there are new micro games that let you control Wario. All right, friends. this Nintendo Direct is already worth there it. There is also a two-player co-op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's yes. releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. It's only like, God, that's only like two, three months away. Next, please take a look at this. Oh man, there's so many games. Damn day job, I gotta play games all day. As like, a high there's so many. Living in Tokyo. Your life is fairly Persona? Normal. If I had to guess, maybe not. There's so many Japanese high school but games that reality though. Reality is upended after you get pulled oh, into Wario a Wario different Metroid. dimension. Yes, we get a Zelda in like September too. I already pre-ordered that. Oh yeah, Nintendo's killing it this year. There's a Another lot of fun Tokyo stuff. A post-apocalyptic world where okay. angels and demons reside. All right. Now they're making it sound all cool and actiony, but it's probably gonna is it gonna be all turn-based and shit. Suddenly, you fuse with a mysterious figure, gaining the power uh... to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> Oh, she, uh, Shinigami Tensei. The world is now transformed into a sprawling, demon-infested wasteland. So... Though friendly demons do exist here, many are hostile and will attempt to destroy you. Yeah, this is going to be all turn-based, I think. To fight demons using These are all... Based system. Yeah. Their weak point is key. I'm By just not into turn-based, really. I just... The consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase. Okay. Though demons are formidable opponents, <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations, which begin when you open a conversation with them. If a negotiation is successful, a demon will become a powerful ally. Some gnarly looking demons, kind of cool cases, looking. By rejecting a demon's request, they may feel motivated and join you 
as an ally. Hmm. Demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger. By fusing demon allies, hmm. another demon can be created. It's like a more adult or more, um, the well, fused demons in a more mature Pokemon, it looks like. A powerful ally, customized to your Almost needs seems like style. it. I don't know anything about Shinigami Tensei. I think challenge the many demons. Uh, no, no, it was still a Persona game. I remember when this, when I first became aware of these, they did this review on like X Play. Hey, how's it going? Um, the like, Persona Three was like where they're shooting each other in the head or shooting themselves in the head. It's just bizarre. Just checking out the Nintendo Direct here, and there's some good stuff. We got a 2D Metroid, we got a WarioWare already coming this year. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Let's do. Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa in despair. God, that's been out that long already. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Oh, is this fully voiced? I've always sort of wanted to try these, but so much text. If these are owner... Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. Unfortunately... The only way out if... of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. And so... Yeah. A body has been discovered. It's like the Hunger Games and um, what, was, what was the original one? The, the cult Japanese cult one. Telling you, I had no idea. Um, you probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute oh, contradictions and find a guilty party. Sneak attack. Battle Royale. No. If this is fully voice acted, I might Are you okay? consider it because it would be more accessible. Plus, the board game from Donkin Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. Okay. Donkin Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one, characters but. From the Donkin Rampa series will come together to battle. Donkin Rampa, what a weird name. Who's the strongest of them all in this hey. ultimate beach brawl? The four-game collection Donkanrampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch later this year. Hmm. All right. All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Okay. All right. So I might just. I'll have to look we and see how you're those not are. Not afraid of ghosts. Uh, ghosts. What's this going to be? I still gotta play Luigi's Mansion. Speaking of which, I horror adventure man. game. You'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami, believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Is this a fatal frame? Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera that can repel and Oh, do. Think it is. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. This might be a fatal this frame. This chilling story features various protagonists. Letting you experience the game from different perspectives. New costumes and photo modes are included. I know a lot of version. people were looking for one Can of these. Investigate Mount Hikami and stay alive. Fatal Frame. Huh. Maiden of Black Water. Creeps I'll be. Nintendo Switch this year. If I had to guess, probably October. Try to get it out for Halloween. These games and DLC are coming soon. Wow. Some even today. Ooh. Okay, Your we got Doom Slayer. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion for Doom ah, Eternal, the Ancient Gods Part the 1. Doom Slayer. Deeper Some and great more challenging music. combat awaits as you eliminate hell's newest threats. And a lot of platforming. ruins and rain-swept terrain. Okay. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. I can't believe that runs on the Switch. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. All right. I already got. Oh, Get Tony Hawk! Two iconic skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era-defining jams. Oh, having this in portable, mo portable form. And returning pros. 
Ooh. Take your sessions on the go with all the original game modes and compete locally or online to show have it for PC, but skaters. drop into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, launching on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Mm. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Holy crap, there's a lot of games I want. In years, Sateki, the Witch Queen, has risen from the dead, and only one group of heroes can stop her. The Strange Brigade. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified oh, monstrosities what? while solving puzzles the in strange brigade. Go it alone or team up with other daring adventurers in I local wireless co-op. This and is online on PC. Play. Expect the unexpected when Strange Brigade launches on Nintendo Switch uh, later today. I don't think I own that yet. It's a new adventure of cosmic proportions. Uh-oh. You're ki are you kidding? Mario and his friends oh, Rabbids, okay. Rabbids once again I saw, like, a galaxy thing. I'm galaxy. like, are we getting a galaxy Our game? heroes must stop a mysterious new evil from plunging the universe into chaos. Yeah, this isn't coming out until next year sometime. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, this was at the Ubisoft. Already? Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. And in this fresh take on the tactical genre, our heroes can run freely around the battle. Right, that's the main difference. No grid. Possibilities. So I think I might like that better. With a little help from your friends. Wait, who's that? Well, one thing's certain. This is going to be one heck of a galactic adventure. Oh man. Mario plus rabbits, sparks of hope. That looks all right. Space or onto Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, whatever it is, it's super anime. Oh, wait a minute. Is this advanced? What is this looks Is this advanced wars? I never got into it, but I know everyone there's so many people who are just clamoring for this game to come back. Man, I bet you people are losing their shit right now. Yeah, this has definitely got to be Advance Wars. I'm almost positive. Thrilling stories, memorable characters, and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding officer. I'm so bad at these types of games. I mean, the art style is cool, the but... Two Advance Wars campaigns and Advance Wars oh, wow. 1 plus 2 reboot camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Okay. The orders begin today on Nintendo okay. eShop. Not really my jam, not my How kind of everything? game, but that's going to make a lot of people happy. Right. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. Oh, Please man. take a look. It's got to be Zelda, right? Oh. So, uh, I thought it said Hyrule Warriors in the top. Yeah, what? Yeah, Hyrule Warriors 2. I have that and haven't started it. I got into the first one a fair bit. I just wish it was easy to see where your objectives were. Like, I wish there was in-world, like, navigation to help you. Because some of them are timed. If you don't get to, like, a certain waypoint in a, in a specific time limit, uh, you'll instantly fail the mission, which sucks when you can't see the mini-map. Oh, you can't just end on Hyrule Warriors. You can't. It's got to be all Zelda, right? Hello there. I'm A.G. You gotta Amilu, talk about producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors right. Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took you place 100 years Wild prior too. to the events of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. Uh-huh. We'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which Okay, yep, this is going to be a Zelda block. All right. 
You'll immerse yourself in the role of Link by using two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive motion controls, or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button-only controls. That's probably what I'm gonna do. This game depicts yeah, we'll the see. oldest era in the Legend of Zelda series, the story of how it all began. What is the origin of the Master Sword? I never did Why finish did this on the Wii Zelda because I, for future generations. I don't know, I just got Wii distracted and never got into it, in but game. I want to give this another chance. We hope you're looking forward to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Oh, it's in July. I thought it was like September. Oh shit, dude. That's next month. Next up. Nice. Here's a little something you might like. What? This is a Game & Watch system that lets you play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. Oh, this you're year, kidding. This original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, we've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on the earliest days of the Legend <laughs> of Zelda. Just like the Super Mario Bros. game. It will come with the first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda. Uh-huh. Zelda, Zelda 2. 2, The Adventure of Link. Oh man, that, I suck at that game. It's so hard. Oh wow. The Game Boy version of The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening game. Yeah. As well as a special version of the Game and Watch title Vermin, starring <laughs> Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system. I'm gonna buy this just as a collector. Zelda I want to collect the all of these Vermin. as they come out. In addition, regarding the watch functionality for the Game and Watch system. We've added a playable clock based on the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and an interactive timer themed after Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Huh. You can play with both of them by taking control of Link. <laughs> oh, for funny. We hope you'll enjoy playing this Game & Watch system whenever and wherever you'd like. November 12th. Okay. All right. Here's the last thing we have to show you. Yeah, this there it is. is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: oh, Breath yeah. of the Wild. You, they had Two to. Two years have passed since we first announced they this had game, to. and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please All right, so it's not coming out this year. It's going to be next year. Just the way he's wording things, it's not out this year. You know, that's okay though. We we do have a lot coming to the Switch. I'm trying to think what the big November game is, though. I'd be really surprised if it if it was this year. Just by what he said. And I know the Metroid stuff, like Metroid Prime 4, they had to basically go and restart it, so... They weren't happy with the way it was going, so... Next year at minimum, probably. But this looks pretty good. I just hope they do something different with the breakable weapons. I hated that. I love the art in this game, though. This is a really good looking game. I mean, just imagine if they had the po the power of the Xbox uh, Series X or the PS5. Just with that kind of power, what Nintendo would be able to do. 2022, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it wasn't this year. All right. So, that's fair. This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. Oh. <laughs> We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Mm-hmm. How was that? That's all for this Nintendo Direct. We are diligently continuing hmm. development on a number of other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Okay. So I wonder if they'll just go right into the treehouse or uh, when that starts. But 
I will watch that off stream, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to do the last sort of major E3 event stream here. So, all right, processing that. Really good direct, actually. I was pretty happy with that. Um, you know, there's some indie stuff. There's, you know, stuff that people probably weren't excited. A new Fatal Frame. Uh, Advance Wars coming back. They said those aren't ones that I'm super interested in, but I know a lot of people love those, so people are going to love that, having having those on uh, in portable form. We have Mario Golf coming, which I'm going to take a look at. We have Zelda next month. We have WarioWare. Heck yeah. We have a new Metroid in October. Trying to think if, the, I mean, November, they have that little Game & Watch thing. I don't know if there's anything huge in November for the Switch. Usually, companies will try to have something. I mean, they did say a couple that were holiday, or that were later this year. I'm trying to remember what those were, but... You know what? We got a new Metroid. I, I'm perfectly happy with that. It can come out in October or whatever, and... I am totally okay with that. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think that's been a really good E3. I know some people said they're not, you know, they weren't really all that enthused about it, but I don't know. With all the games that I know about, indie and AAA and PC and console, you got Nintendo Switch now, um, there is a ton of games that I want to play. So I don't know when I'm going to... Like I said, I still have a backlog. Serious backlog. So who knows when I'm going to find time to play all this crap. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say, you know, that they acknowledged Metroid. Um, they showed some Zelda. You know, I, I kind of had a feeling it wasn't coming out this year, but I had a small hope that it would. But once they showed that Metroid was coming out this year, that's going to be their uh, their major end of the year game, I think, which is totally fine with me. We got a WarioWare and Metroid, so I am totally happy with that. Um, maybe next year we'll get the F Zero thing, and like I said, they could do. You know, they said they're working on other stuff. Um, they'll probably do a some Nintendo some Nintendo Direct this fall, and drop some other surprises on us. Maybe there'll be other, some other crazy battle royale that we wouldn't have expected or um, like just some kind of smaller indie surprise. I do wish they would have said something. The only other thing that I really wish they would have done is I really wish they would... They have such a catalog that they could do with their Nintendo and Super Nintendo stuff on the Nintendo Online service. And like I said, I, if if they would do N64 or Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, that would be that would have been the one other thing that I think would have just really even amped it up even more. But because um, even you know, it's really funny because they drip feed just you know sometimes some like, obscure games, and it's like you know so you get one or two a month, and it's like you guys have such a rich back catalog that you could be I mean god that the, the 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 Nintendo Switch online service would be you know you got Xbox um Game Pass but like if you had I mean don't get me wrong you have a hell of a collection out there already especially first party you got your Mario's your Zelda's your Metroids those things but like some of these third party stuff that you if you could get those on the backwards, you know, on the backwards compatible stuff. Um, especially for the retro gamer, that would be their online subscription that would be just really worth it. So, yeah, not too shabby at all, Nintendo. Nice way to wrap up E3. There's a lot that I was genuinely excited to try to play. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited. 
illegallycited.com and on youtube.com slash illegallycited. Until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.